So you have an image of a floor plan, and you want to turn that into a 3D model. Is it possible? Yes! Now let us go online and search for some plan images. I'm simply on Google and looking for 2D floor plans. It's also better to look for high resolution ones for the upcoming method. So once you go around those images, you can download couple of them. The way we are heading is to turn these images into vector files that can identify lines using the Inkscape program. And if it's your first time hearing about Inkscape, don't worry, I don't know anything about it either. I did download it while back along with other programs that I just learned the basic of them, then set them aside. We all been there. So, once you are on the main page, you can look for the download button, the program is free. So just choose the system you operating and install it in any method you like. After the setup is done, you can open Inkscape to get this work window. So from here, to open one of the plans we downloaded, go to File, Import, and just choose the image you have. You can also drag the image directly here and it will give you the same result. So hit OK, and here we have it. This image we have here is a raster file, meaning it's pixels. To turn that into lines, we can hit the right mouse button, and look for the trace bitmap option, the shortcut for it is near its name, and now we have a new panel on the right, so with this trace bitmap option, you can separate the image components based on several things, and as I said I'm as noob as it gets with this program so don't worry, the method is super easy, in this image, the clear thing we have is two colors, black and white. And under the trace bitmap you can see three main tabs, single scan, multicolor, and pixel art. With the single scan we have couple of options to separate the image via color or edge detections. But I don't use that. What we need to use is the multicolor tab. Then put the detection mode on colors. This way we can get the result from any kind of image. The scan slider here will detect the colors based on the number you assign here and the image we are using only have two colors, so I will leave it on the minimum value. The other thing we need to do is enabling the stack option, this way we get each layer separated, and that's it. Let us hit apply, and we can after that go to the saving options to export this as an SVG file. Now to Blender, let us clear this scene, and go to File, Import, then look for the Scalable Vector Graphics, if you by any chance don't have this option, just go to the Add-on Settings, and make sure you enable the SVG Files Importing Add-on, I think this once should be enabled by default so just check it out if needed, so back to the Import section. Select the SVG format and import the file we made with Inkscape, and here it is. As we said before, we separated the image based on two colors, and this is why we got two objects, and due to this is generated from an image, the scale is no way near the real thing, however we can look for common things like door or steps and just scale it to fit using any known object, the white background is no need for us, so just hide it or delete it and this is what we end up with, how amazing is that, and the plan have the dimensions with it so you can easily fix the scale, though those number are probably with feet so I will rescale this plan using the door length. Now what we can do with this, first let us turn it into mesh since it's a curve, after that, if we go into edit mode, you would notice that this is now a mess. So to fix it in a fast way, we can select everything and hit F3, then look for the limited dissolve cleanup option, this will clean the shape in fast way and give you a great result, though you will still have some lines like this which you can fix manually. After that. To separate the walls from everything else, let us select couple of vertices then hit Ctrl and the plus key to grow selection. Once the walls are highlighted, hit P to separate them. 
Now select the walls, and in edit mode, we can extrude the faces on the Z axis, and get a 3D floor plan from the image we started from, and that's it, hope this video been useful guys, hit the like button and comment down your thoughts and suggestions for future videos, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.